What about rules, honey? Rules? I believe that Matilda Wormwood is an exception to the rules. When I grow up, I will be brave enough to fight the creatures that you have to fight beneath the bed each night to be a grown up. I think it was a combination of fame with Bertie, reading the actual uh, original text, which is Roald Dahl's book, Matilda, um, and then taking things that Dennis said, taking things that, uh, tones that D Tim put into the songs, and then also listening to various things that the characters say about me, and, you know, using my imagination to think, okay, how how did I get to this place? How do I survive within um, this world that has been created for me? And that's how she gets responding, really. You have the opportunity to empower yourself and to change what your destiny is going to be. I never kind of expected this. We just thought it was going to be a little Christmas show up, at, up in Stratford-upon-Avon. And she gets it from Matilda. Yeah. And Matilda, I think when Matilda hugs Miss Sunny, it's such a shock for her. She's never been... Uh, it had any affection like that since her father died yeah. and so it's like I feel like that's a little portal that's just been cracked and slow, slowly she starts to get stronger within herself. When they're actually in the, the role they all bring the same essence and same quality and it's just they, they hit all the same beats that they've been taught to do and then there's just little percolators of their own personality that filters through which for me keeps it very very alive. I I'm amazed at sort of the 20-somethings and 30-somethings who come and really enjoy it because there is a really dark undercurrent. And I, I think that surprises maybe even some of the families that come to see it, that it isn't just for children, it is for adults as well. It isn't much, but it is enough for me. For this is my 